Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, thanks for joining to uh, the Desk Greg live stream today. Super excited to have everybody here. Um, I'm going to turn this music down. Get that set up a bit better. And uh, yeah, so thanks for being here. Yeah, I, uh, I wanted to run a live stream today. I uh, Yeah, what up, Ethan? How's it going, brother? Um, I wanted to... Uh, I realized that I had kind of an uncanny ability to make profile photos for people really quickly and easily. And uh, I wanted to live stream today anyways, and I was trying to think of a reason to do it. And so I thought, you know, it'd be really cool if um, I went online and went live and uh, invited anybody that wanted their profile photo to be updated to, uh, to join a video call with me, join the live stream here with me. Uh, and I'll make that profile photo for free. And like, you know, uh, if you, do, you don't have to use it, if you don't want to, we can just do it for fun. But uh, I thought that'd be a fun exercise to do. And anybody who's out there who uh, who wants to update their LinkedIn profile with something maybe a little more professional or just change it up, maybe get a border around their photo, um, we can uh, we can do that. So um, yeah, I hope everybody's having a great week, uh, very successful business week. Um, I know that Desk Rig is definitely. Uh, had some interesting things happen this week. We went semi-viral. Some of you may have seen that. Um, it was uh, an unfortunate <clears throat> scenario to go viral over. Uh, but uh, for those of you that didn't see it, um, I'm going to pull up the post on screen and, uh, and see uh, if anybody wants to make some comments on it um, live here. But so... Let me grab my screen share. So anybody out there uh, watching have any big events this week happen?
I'll have this share screen up here in just a second. Um, or if you want to head over to my page, you can check it out before I get there. Let me transition that on screen there. I'm going to switch this camera view. There we go. That took me a second. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> I carried you in video games. Oh, pretty huge accomplishment. Good job, Ethan. Uh, for those of you that can see the chat, my friend Ethan here is joining us from Facebook. Ethan, we're doing a you're having a hard time hearing. Yeah, there you go. I turned up the gain on my microphone. You should have a much easier time hearing me now. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, my son's on fall break, so he's been sitting here with me, uh, and I think he plays with my microphone controls because uh, it's a spinny dial with lights. So, um, but yeah. So, anyways, all that's to say. Um, This is the post. And yeah, of course, happy, happy to happy to fix that for you. Um, so this is the post that I made on, I guess, uh, Tuesday night um, or Monday night, maybe. But it uh, the original post did not have the updated uh, parentheses to it. And, you know, when I made this when I made this post, um, it was in a moment of frustration uh, and I, in a way, was trying to purposefully go against a what um, everyone else posts um, and and B, uh, kind of make commentary because I knew this would get some exposure. Um, you know, I didn't think it would get the kind of exposure it would. You know, I was really trying to start a conversation about um, how... Uh, you know, with the saturation of mental health discussion and, and posts, sometimes I'm afraid that, um, you know, for some of the people who, who have really deep medical depression or schizophrenia, um, you know, there's, it's, it's a spectrum, I guess. And that's, that's, that's where, um, you know, my perception was wrong. Um, but and because it, it doesn't matter whether, you know, you're you're on one end of the spectrum or the other. Uh, if you're feeling pain, it's meaningful. Um, and 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 what my post did, unfortunately, was was not really um, the intention. Um, and so ultimately, this got an insane amount of impressions. I mean, you can see here on the screen, like, you know, we're talking about twenty three thousand impressions on a post when my normal impressions for posts are a thousand. Um, and you can kind of see that, uh, somewhere here. If I go to my profile, you know, and yesterday I made a post about this kind of commentating on that fact as well. And it's like, you know, this is what, this is why you see so many creators take advantage of careful using this term because it's probably insensitive, but bandwagon thinks. And I think that's frustrating. Um, you know, and it's not my place to judge who's right and who's wrong. And I think, you know, sometimes we all get a sense of when we see a creator <clears throat> make multiple, you know, inflammatory things uh, in a row. Um, it's like stirring the pot all the time, you know, and the conversations that I've had through this, uh, experience are really, I think, fruitful and great conversations about integrity and what is the cost of stirring the pot? Um, and you know, uh, I think a lot of creators are afraid to make waves, um, with their, 
with their content, with their opinions, and rightfully so, because those things could have impacts that are unseen. Uh, and I think it's a, it's a really interesting discussion of like, where does a creator draw the line uh, when you know a certain type of activity garners a certain type of result that is the result you desire. Um, when do you say, you know, integrity and ethics come into play to not achieve the business result that you desire? Um, you know, I, I think the, the saying is really funny and I'd love to hear anybody's opinion on this, but like, I think the saying's funny is like, <clears throat> and I make the joke to my kids is like when they're playing soccer, it's like, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Right. That's a terrible saying, right? You never want to encourage cheating, but the, the, the sentiment is about effort. It's about intent, um, and desire uh, and, and, and like really being able to discern between the value of the result you desire and the cost of that result at a 50,000 foot view, not on the ground for just you. Um, and uh, I think that's a, that's a really fun conversation, but if you're, if you're just tuning in uh, to the live stream, uh, we're doing free profile photo makeovers. We're just chitting chit chatting right now. I'm not afraid. Oh, what's up, Dan? Let's put, let's put your comment here up real quick. Oh, it's already on there. It's on the, it's on the screen. <clears throat> Sad stories to throw in family as a Hail Mary to get reaction versus a true business reaction that makes moves. I think you're hundred percent right. Like a hundred percent right. And I think it's, it's really interesting because my father, um, you know, um, my father called me after the post and, and just like a lot of other people who read that post, um, he raked me over the coals, absolutely raked me over the coals. And the reason he raked me over the coals was because his father committed suicide uh, and dealt with chronic depression, my grandfather. Um, and, uh, you know, he saw that post and he saw it as insensitive, but, Unlike my father, Dan, you're also a creator trying to make results happen on LinkedIn, right? And you see that thing happen where people use sad stories and use their family to get that business result. And it feels slimy, right? And that's frustrating because it does feel like it diminishes legitimate issues. Um, but then it's like where... It, who is who gets to be the judge? It's not me, for sure. Um, and I guess we all kind of have to make that personal decision. And, and you know, I, I'm I'm getting, you know, through that experience I had with this post. I, I'm like you. I'm. I spent my entire life really trying to please everyone, and I didn't please. I didn't succeed at that goal, right? You fail anyways <clears throat> um, when you try to please everyone, and so. Um, you know, now in my head, I'm having this conversation of like, I know that my intentions in the world are positive. Um, and I think the people who are here and that know me and that read that post who are content creators and see the same things I see, they understood that my post was more than just its words, right? It, it was, it was satire in a way, uh, to make commentary about the state of affairs in content creation, right? And how we're all just, just banging that dopamine button, so we can win. And it's like, what's the cost? And like, where do people who are, are trying to make a positive impact say to themselves, how much bad is worth the good that I'm going to give to the world that I want to give, that I intend to give to the world? And I think it's, that's a, that's scary, right? So it's a big conversation. <clears throat> I think it's really interesting. Uh, and I think while I'm, I genuinely am remorseful if I've hurt anyone. Um, uh, what's up, Josh? Thanks for joining the stream, brother. I've been meaning to get back with you, um, and, uh, and my follow-up game is just not very good. So, uh, 
<laughs> Thanks for being here again. I appreciate you very much. Uh, and so, yeah, Josh, you said for me, I just have to judge my own integrity. Not everyone has the same morals, but if I look at others through my own lens, I just get too frustrated. Brother, amen. Amen. And I think that's uh, that's something that like, you know, and you're you're a <clears throat> you know, you're an entrepreneur, right? You're out here trying to do your own thing. Uh, and I think um I think folks like us, Dan, you're the same, right? You're a founder, entrepreneur. You're out here trying to do your own thing and, and trying to make your own way and create, not ride ride somebody else, ride somebody else's coattail and just get that paycheck. You know, you're you want independence and liberty and uh, of time, right? Of decision making power, um, of impact, right? Because and and you know, if you guys start a business for the same reason I did, like we do it because that's the way it's always been done. Is just not acceptable, right? Um, and so I think, Josh, to your point, you know, realizing that not everybody is like you. It seems so simple, right? Like, duh, of course they're not. But man, that's hard, a lot harder to live in practice when like you go, when you try to always go the extra mile to do the right thing, um, to be the change you, you wish to see in the world. Um, it's a lot slower of a burn, uh, I think. Than, than most of us would, would like. Um, and Dan, yeah, uh, there's a difference between getting the story out versus getting what's what needs to, right? I'm a proponent for mental health because my fiance is bipolar. So it's a big deal to me. I never understood it until I lived with her. So keep up and don't apologize. Man, I, I appreciate that. Like, I, I really appreciate the support. And, 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 you know, you wouldn't believe the amount of people who reached out in DMs and said, like, we know what you were doing there. And... You know, we're not going to say that in the comments because it's just asking for trouble. Right. And it is. Um, and I but I appreciate, you know, Dan, in your, in your case, like this public sentiment that like you, you know that I'm not like I wasn't trying to say mental health isn't real. You know, like I, I pose struggles that I have that are authentic. It's not just stuff that like, you know, it, it took me a lot to say that out loud. It took me many years to say those things without somebody having to be like, hey, man, like, how do you feel about that? You never talk about that. You know, and for me just to come out and be like, yeah, like, this is what, this is what it is, right? That this is what's happened to me. And like, I, I hope that by sharing my story or by sharing my opinions, I can actually connect with someone. All, a lot of the people in the comments that said things to me that were, you know, that expressing that I hurt them or that somebody that that was close to them was hurt by mental health and they didn't appreciate my post. Like I tried to reach out and I didn't have, I haven't been able to get to every comment, but like I tried to get to a lot of them and say like, Hey, I didn't mean, I wasn't intending to hurt you. Like that's my, the words here. Aren't really what I'm trying to say. Right. And a lot of you saw that and, and like, uh, there's this, there's this comedy, uh, there's this comedy clip that runs around social media and a lot of you may have seen it, but like it's this comedian who's telling a joke and like less and less and less people laugh in the audience until he gets to the punchline. And like one guy laughs. Right. And the comedians like stops. He's like, you're the guy I'm looking for. Like, let's hook up after this show. Like we could be friends, you know? And it's like, those are the people I think sometimes you want that that's like the point of like doing this because those those the, that's how you weed out the people you want to work with um where you can say something that like it, it's like playing devil's advocate right like you're not doing it because you think that what you said is right you're doing it because everybody else is saying the opposite and somehow that doesn't settle Right. And like, I think at a bigger level, oh, oh, Josh. So, well, a lot of times in today's society, people just can't have a meaningful conversation. If you pose questions to spark a conversation, most people just automatically attack. Ethan, yeah, you're right. People these days are too afraid. And, and I mean, look what happened to me, right? I spoke my mind. And, and what I was saying wasn't what I was saying. but it got a lot of people pissed off, right? And like, what's that worth? Like pissing people off. Like, like, I guess if I'm able to turn it into a positive, 
a positive thing, then it was worth doing, right? But if you do something like that and then don't follow up on it, you're creating controversy for nothing, right? And I don't think that that's a good thing. Like speaking your mind just to speak your mind is about your ego, right? You're right. You're 100% right. Like he just just saying, just saying awful things. He probably doesn't even think because he knows he's going to get a reaction uh, and he's gotten famous, right? And now he's got a lot of money. And he, if he wants to go out and like, you know, feed hungry kids in the background, he can't, you know, I think Colby Covington is another great example of that in MMA, where if you hear from people on interviews who know him, it's not, it's not who he is. The public image of him is not who he is, but yet I don't like him because of that. And it's, it's funny because his impact reverberates far past his personality, right? Because a lot of people cannot tell the difference between, between a show and reality. And that's the problem with Tucker Carlson, with Kobe Covington, with Donald, Donald Trump, <laughs> like th th there's a show about it that like some people can't tell the difference between. Um, and that's, and that's why it is dangerous. Um, your words do matter. Um, so interesting conversation and Josh, you're right. People do just attack. Like, and I, and, and I learned that, um, another, another really interesting thing about this is like, I did learn through that experience that all those people who attacked me, right. Instantly judged me off that post really didn't understand what I was trying to say. <clears throat> They're guilty too of something completely different. Right. Um, they are, they are, they, if they didn't agree, they, they were supporting something they didn't agree with by commenting. Silence is a reaction, right? And somehow we all do this. We comment on the things we are displeased with, which supports those things rather than commenting on the things that we agree with um, and supporting those things as much. That's super interesting. But when it comes to influencing people, right? What that taught me is, is like a lot, uh, my initial reaction to a lot of those folks was like, you don't know me. You know, you don't know me. Like, go home, get out of here. And that, and that, and that taught me that like, if I ever want to influence people, telling them that they're wrong as my, as my first reaction sets me up for failure. Instantly, instantly sets you up for failure. If you just say, no, you're dumb. That's a ill-informed blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter if it is. You're going to make that person anchor themselves in that position because now you've taken a stance in a way against, against their integrity, right? Against their intelligence, um, against their lived experiences. Um, you want to say hi, Boone? Hi. Hi everybody. This is this is Boone. He is uh, the producer of the show. He does all the button pushing, um, and he is uh, he really just runs the whole the whole thing, funds it, and everything with your money, right? How do you earn your money? Chores, chores, chores. and what do you spend your money on? Walmart. What do you buy at Walmart? You don't know what you're going to buy at Walmart? Oh, you hurt your toe. Yep. So this kid, he dropped a 15-pound weight. Everybody's saying hi. Everybody's saying hi to you. See, there's your name. You see your name? Hey. Okay. Just reach in there and say hi, everybody. Hi. And tell them your name. Boone Edward Parkins. Boone Edward Parkins. He's using his voice, his his nervous voice. So we're talking about... Uh, oh, by the way, if you're just tuning in, uh, this is a, a stream. Like I'm making free profile photos for anybody who wants like a new profile photo for their uh, social media or whatever. Like, you know, just for something to do. 
Uh, so if you want something like that, let me know. Uh, happy to do that. But we're just having conversations until then, having a good time. Boone is on fall break. And so he has spent the week uh, here with me just uh, hanging out and uh, being in the office. He's got a desk rig over here that he's been on on his desk rig. And uh, we've been you've been playing the Nintendo Switch on your desk rig, right? What games have you been playing? Mario Kart and Mario Party. Mario Kart and Mario Party. We like the Mario games. That's right. Executive producer. Please. Thank you. Okay. Hey, listen, you're going to watch Greasy and the Lemmings? Say bye to everybody. Bye. I know he's the star of the show, but he's got to run the switchboard or else this thing can't go down, y'all. So. Band-Aid for your toe. All right, we are we are in request of a Band-Aid. We're going to run downstairs and get a Band-Aid, and uh, we're going to be right back. In the meantime, what I'm going to do, because this will take less time than this video, is play this video. Yeah. We are back. Get your, uh, get your, uh... with top lines for a year that can do so many content creators. Mm -hmm. You know, go to try anyone except me. But once I started publishing content and it didn't go viral after my first videos, stolen this work and only attention from other content creators to go. What's up, Adam? How's it going, brother? So I'm hoping so I'm going to pause this video because I don't think you guys are able to hear it. But really what it's about is it's it's interesting because it really is has a lot to do with what happened this week, which is what are you willing to do for your own success? Right. Adam, you play any games these days, brother? You on some PUBG or something? Yeah, you can my phone. Here you go, buddy. Put what thing on? The remote control. That's what he meant to say. Um, so, <clears throat> anywho, um, we'll put that up there. Uh, so today we're going to be doing two things um, on the live stream. I'm going to be giving out or creating free profile photos. So, like, even if you just want to DM me, right? Like, send me a DM if you want to join the stream. Uh, we can do it live, which is a ton of fun. I can bring you on, um, playing a little bit. That's what's up. You ought to come play some Super People. It's also free um, based on PUBG. It's just like PUBG, except superpowers. A lot of fun. Come check it out. Um, but yeah, so after um, we're on here for a little while, um, NBA starting to play Armor Reforger. Nice, man. Nice. Never played that. Never played that at all. Um, but after the free profile photo makeover, um, I'm going to do a desk rig VX subscription giveaway. So, um, you don't have a PC. Oh man, you gotta, you gotta get a PC brother. There's some really good deals right now because the 40, the 40 series cards came out. Uh, and this is for also my people on LinkedIn who do video production or do, you know, live video stuff like I'm doing. Um, the new GPUs are coming on the market, which means the 30 series and the 20 series are going to be a lot less expensive than the 10 series, frankly. And all of those cards are great for business, uh, which is great. That's just really going to be able to further the saturation of graphics cards into the business space. Um, and business people have had 
chronically bad hardware um, as long as I can remember. So uh, the fact that we're going to be able to get GPUs uh, at lower costs, it's great. So uh, Adam, definitely you should grab a, grab a, grab a PC, brother. Um, so desk rig VX uh, for anybody who's, who's new in the stream, like I said, we're going to do pre free profile mo makeovers for a while. We're going to have some conversations here. Um, we may be joined by a few special guests along the way. Let's see, maybe we can get GB3 in here right now. over the link. Oh, well, this is our guy right here. GB3. So also anybody who's out there, uh, this is this. Obviously, my name's Garen. This guy, also named Garen, um, hilarious story. I love sharing the story because it was so uh, serendipitous and funny. But so, uh, you know, along the beginning of my content creator journey a year ago, some random guy named Garen started comment commenting on my stuff and we became friends on LinkedIn. And I was like, this is like, you know, I've never met another person named Garen. So what is going on here? This is weird. Like, is this like a hitman sent to replace me? Um, come to find out, like, it's just coincidence. And, uh, but even more coincidentally, we have a ton in common, including the fact that we're both virtual presence experts, which I think is just super funny and cool. Um, we, uh, we both uh, handle a little bit different thing in the space. Uh, and, uh, oh, I, I just saw your message, Adam. Dude, that's, that is crazy. Oh, man, I wish we could have met up. That would have been super cool. Like, I, I've never met any of the, like, my long-term video game buddies. Like, because like normally it's like once a game kind of sunsets, we go our separate ways or whatever, you know, it kind of goes, but, uh, yeah, I'm still hanging out with Forbes. He was up in the chat a minute ago. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah, you definitely should have. Cause we were, we were just like out there hanging out, having a good time. Um, would have definitely love to have you or meet up with you rather. Let's see if we can get GB3 over here. Grab that link. All right. So if you're just joining in, I think I've said this a thousand times. We're doing free profile photo makeovers. I uh, went to Pueblo for my niece's grad party. Nice, man. That's cool. I don't, I've never, uh, I've never been to Pueblo. Let me check that out. Oh, what? That is beautiful. Oh, I bet that was incredible. Y'all are on anybody on the stream. I'm show you guys this. Colorado. I'm guessing this is where you're at, right? And Colorado is crazy. Such nice Super cool, man. No? I don't know. It looks like it. We, uh, when we went, we went to, uh, so we went, I was in for a wedding. Um, Riverwalk is nice. Yeah, that was the pictures I just saw, I think. Um, Yeah. So when we flew in, we flew into Denver uh, and we drove the north route to Salt Lake City and then the south route home. So we stopped in Moab and uh, 
just like had three days of Moab adventures. We went rock crawling, rafting, and hiking. Like those are the three days kind of things. And we went and saw the, uh, you know, all the dinosaur stuff for the kids. And uh, also went and watched Jurassic, the new Jurassic Park movie while we were there to like cap it all off. And then when we got back to Denver to fly out, you went through Moab. That's nuts. That's nuts. Bro, you got to hit me up next time. Um, but yeah, then when we got back to Denver, we went to that Jurassic Park experience that's like done by Universal or whatever. Um, it's not some third party thing. Oh, it's all good, dude. I get it. I mean, it's, you know, it, it would have taken effort. I, I, I'm, I'm, trust me, like, no hard feelings. Like, I totally get it. I appreciate you letting me know. Like, that's good enough, actually. <laughs> uh, but, uh, this Jurassic, I just heard some screaming from downstairs, but this Jurassic Park thing was incredible. Like they had everything like super realistic, um, uh, like animatronic stuff. They had like these hatchery bays and like, it was all, there were QR codes everywhere, all this kind of like interactivity to it. Um, the gods were all great actors and like they, you know, the whole experience was awesome. Um, for any of my dino people out there, I know, um, it was in Denver. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might still be in Denver, Adam. Uh, let me see. Yeah, it's now open right now in Denver, Colorado at the National Western Center. Um, man. What up, dog? Oh, you good, bro. I just thought I'd holler at you. You know, looking out for my, my fellow Garens out there. You know how we do. So, uh, Adam, this, uh, hey, gee, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, but this thing was cool. Like this, like little hatchery bay was awesome. That Indominus Rex, Pachycephalosaurus, that might be a Stimlock. T-Rex, like they had these big gates you take pictures in front of. Uh, Brachiosaurus. That's a Stimlock. Parasilophus. Rat, the whole Raptor crew, like Delta, Blue, Echo, like all those were there. Um, we got some really awesome footage from it too that I, I posted on uh, Instagram and Facebook, but uh yeah this is in denver garen and this this is nuts man like if you're a jurassic park fan like an actual really jurassic park fan, you really into it like i am and my kids are um it's like something you don't no why don't you tell everybody why don't you tell everybody what's legal air i don't know i wouldn't know anything about that well not me no, I already, I already, I already fanned the flames this week, homeboy. <laughs> oh, JK, no. yeah, it's satire. Everybody, calm down. He's just joking. He's just joking. As long as you say that, it's probably okay, Garen. But uh, yeah, dude, where are you at? Get on the desk rig. Hop in the stream, bro. We'll dual stream. You can put your stream up. You can hop in ping, and uh, I'll show you how to add that browser source to OBS. Anyways, Adam, you definitely should go check that out, man. Um, it was awesome if, you, uh, if you're into that, in that area. Oh, look at the area. There he is, right there. All right, let's watch this. My man, GB3, is coming through with five-star content. If you are not following this man, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. 
probably following Shea Robottom. If you ain't following GB3, you're probably following Shea Robottom. Likely. Gary Vaynerchuk, though. Y'all. My man, Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk. You're just joining the stream. I haven't said this enough times, probably, but uh, giving away free profile photo makeovers while we're live streaming, having a good time, conversating about things, bringing friends in. Um, we're hanging out today. It's Friday. We worked hard this week. It's time to have some fun and do some chit-chatting. Stephen G. Pope, another great content creator that if you're not following, you should be. Talks a lot about video stuff. Um, oh, this guy's got it. Look here. GB3. My man's got him a, uh, a camera, a nice rounded square camera mask. Oh, this man's using OBS. Oh, okay. Man, you already be knowing about him. Of course. Of course I'll be. I discover people through who you follow all the time. Yeah, of course it's Thursday. It's my Friday. My wife is off work tomorrow. And we're going to do pumpkin patch stuff. The fall stuff. Because if you try to do it on the weekends, don't play. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, Josh. Have you ever been down to Fender's Farm and done that whole thing on a Saturday? You got to catch it in the morning on Friday. That's right. That's what we do. That's why we're doing this, right? Because at any one in time, at any point in time, somebody else could take it away. So we can do it every day. So um, Dan, I've, I saw you've been making a bunch more content here lately, too. Let's see. Where's Dan's profile? Let's pull Dan up. Josh, are you on LinkedIn? Let's see. Not connected? What? Nah, we got to be connected, bro. Brother. All right. Boom. First person. Let's go. Let's do this. My man. So my man, Josh and I have been on the sales. My man, Josh and I have been on the sales ground for a minute. So uh, this man uh, is an incredible professional salesperson. Um, it wouldn't matter what he was wanting to do. Man's going to be successful. Um, you should, uh, Josh, you should definitely spend some more time on LinkedIn, brother. Like, honestly. Like, I think um, you, you like with your disposition and personality, uh, you'd find a lot of success on LinkedIn. Uh, and it's, you know, it's where business, it's where business happens, right? Like Facebook, I know that you, you can't get to a lot of personal connections. There is professional networking. And I, I know you've gotten business off of there doing what you're doing. Um, I see you. Um, but LinkedIn is great. Great. It's a great place to be. So. Let's see, Josh. Let's go. You have a website? Of course you do. Of course you do. Of course you have a website, bro. My man. This is great, dude. Awesome stuff, bro. All right. So 
I see you've got some colors that I can work with for your profile photo here. So let's grab this hex code. Um, I'm going to use, this is really cool, y'all. I'll show you guys this. If you're not using a stream deck, uh, you should be, uh, number one. And I don't sell those things. Uh, my man, uh, Garen Bulani, GB3, uh, does. Efren, send me yours. Where? Oh, heck, heck yeah, dude. Would love to. Would love to. Let's see here. Can you, let's see. Okay, I'm going to do yours next. I started this one, Efren. I'm going to finish this real quick, and uh, and then I will do yours second. And and uh, you can tell me, like, if, if you have a website or something, um, I, uh, I'll go pull the colors off of it as well. I'll go look for it after I do this one. So anyways, um, so this is Stream Deck. If you're not using one of these things, it is an incredible tool to do a lot of cool things with. I mean, you can do a thousand things with it, but I have this one tool where um, it pulls hex codes from whatever I'm pointing at on screen. So if you've ever been like tried to, you know, grab the color off of a website, you normally have to like go in, inspect element, find the element, find the color hex code. Sometimes it's RGB instead and you've got to convert that anyways. This tool allows me to, um, with the push of a button on this little handy dandy hardware device, I can literally click here, press the link, and you'll see that now it's copied that hex code um, to um, to my clipboard. So now in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is basically just create a 500 by 500 canvas. And then drag your profile photo into it. All right, so we'll delete that layer. We'll grab a quick, um, we need to do like a quick shape layer mask. You know, I probably should have done this. Let's do this in Illustrator. I would prefer to do this in Illustrator. Just gonna take me less time to do everybody's. It's kind of like a, a preference thing, I think. Some people prefer Illustrator, some people prefer Photoshop. Like for me at least, I've found that for most things, I would prefer to work in Illustrator because Illustrator still does work with photos if you have them like ready and normally I do. So I'll use like Photoshop um, first maybe for like a background removal, which actually I think I'm gonna do that with yours real quick, Josh, is remove the background. Um, I can actually do the, my plan today was to have people join my live call and then I was going to take their video feed live and take a picture of it because we can do that through desk rig experiences with one of the templates that I have. I can just pull your video call feed in and press a button and it's done. Uh, but right now, since nobody really wants to join the video call and be on live, I kind of get that. Um, I'll just do it the old fashioned way because we're just hanging out anyways. So um there's Photoshop. There's your photo. Gonna duplicate it. Turn off the original. We've got a pretty high tolerance here. I'm gonna turn that down. Way too high still. Way too hostile. Still, still going to be too much. It got rid of too much. And you'll see those areas around your face aren't going to come out very well if I do that. See? Yeah, I'm going to have to do that a different way. 
just going to delete that and make a new copy. Because the shadow along your face right there blends in really nicely with that color. It's like those edges are going to be really hard to pick up by the automated tool. We'll try again. That's part of our problem right there. Still too much in that area. We don't want that to go. Let's take that tolerance down and see what happens. Still too much. That's better. Not too bad. We need to soften that up though, don't we? I wouldn't be happy with that. Of soften some of that down so it's not so edgy. I could just select an inverse selection probably and fix that. Though I'm not even paying attention to chat. You ain't pasty, boy. Uh oh. What did I do? Here we go. Still not good enough. Getting there. So I can do all this stuff live too, which is kind of the funny thing is like, it's almost easier for me to do this live than it is through Photoshop now, which is hysterical. Um, all right, cool. Let's just save that. Still doesn't feel right there, to be honest with you. Ah, I knew something was wrong. Here's what we'll do. Let's fill that back in. Still cutting that out. I don't even want to do that. I'm just going to start over again. We'll get this right. I just need to protect that area somehow. I'm going to lower the uh, tolerance even more. And it really needs to come after that area. Try this instead. I think this may be a way better way to do this. Like that.
Now I'm starting to be a perfectionist. Funny, if I was doing this for myself, I would have just lived with it. Nah, that's not true. Yeah. Now let's see. What? wonder if I cranked up the saturation of those colors because I'll bet you I can get those to black. It'd be a lot easier to get them. Also, if I just get Better. Pretty good. See, yeah, see, that didn't that was complete fail, bro. We're struggling. Oh, bro, nah, it's nothing. We're gonna get this background taken out. I'm just like, I'm about to do it a different way altogether. That one area is just killing me. Wanted it to be easy, but it never is. See, like all of that comes out perfectly. Like all those edges are just fine for what we're trying to do because it's not going to be a super high res image, anyways, right? What we need to do. Oh, you know what? I just thought something. I saw this post the other day. Video. Let's try this. We're going to put going to go to ping camera one no nope. ping content one i'm going to add an image this is going to be funny if this works oh 
I'll have to convert it to JPEG first. Is this serious? Okay, let's see if this works. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing. This is gonna be a little bit messed up, like when you when you see this, but in in OBS, this is what I wanted to try originally, was I wanted to take this NVIDIA background tool. It works better than Photoshop. Oh my God. So much easier. A top hat and sunglasses. I got you, bro. Look at this. Look at this. Garen, please tell me you see this. Look. So NVIDIA has NVIDIA broadcast tools. You can install it if you have an NVIDIA GPU on your computer and it leverages the GPU to do a lot of stuff. Now, what I've just done is I took his picture. Holy crap. That's insane. I just. This is hilarious. Uh, let's just add a color behind you right now. Got a good blue color out there. Oh, yeah, that's right. We're going to grab your blue. That should be on my clipboard because we were there with our cool handy dandy tool. And then we got thrown off. Let's change this. To your blue that's kind of a purple blue I like that and then let's mask the whole thing off this is all on obs by the way like for anybody watching like it's all i didn't even use photoshop <laughs> I'm better with OBS than I am with Photoshop and Illustrator. It's really hilarious. Oh, man. Okay, what am I looking for? Masks, right? That's right. I just can't even push for that. Oh, my gosh. Let's do... Uh... Yes. Same profile photo scene. Get Josh in there. What is it? Content, ping content one. There we go. Okay, so what I just did there, I don't know if anybody caught what I just did live right there, but that was awesome. <laughs> so I use the NVIDIA broadcast tools to make his background go away. And it did it flawlessly, absolutely flawlessly. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just add another um, circle uh, around around the, the border of your thing because I think you have an accent color. It's this green right here. Um, it's that color right there. And so we'll make a quick accent photo. But since I'm doing that, yeah, no, I mean it's OBS. Like it's it, it's not normal to do it this way, right? But it just shows the power of OBS to make live things happen like that right there. I, that could be your video, right? And I could have you in there talking right now. And we could just record you talking in that setup and you'd be on that background or whatever. And you could do your videos with no editing at the end of it, right? So it's already ready to go when you set it up that way. Um, 
So in this profile photo scene here, I'm going to go in here and basically um, do what I just did, except I'm going to do it on a color source. So first off, I'm going to shrink your profile down. Okay, so done. Almost, almost done. So uh, now I'm gonna, I am going to take it back to Photoshop and just delete the um, the black out of it, so you can have it as a PNG, um, and then you can put it like anywhere you want to put it. Uh, so let me just uh, switch back over here. Um, I'll, uh, we'll see. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can, uh, you could just send me an email right there. If you want to. All right, Josh. Um, I can also get your profile photo. If you want me to get the one that you have on LinkedIn right now, I can just grab it off of there, um, which is what I would have done. Um, but if you if you have one to send like specific that's different than the one on your LinkedIn profile you want me to use, just email it to me or I can, like I said, I'll come get it. Um, totally fine either way. Happy to do it either way. All right, bro. Uh, Josh, check your check your messages. Let me know if you got that. All right. So next up, my man Efren. Let's go. Let me find you real quick. There he is. Photos. Let's find a good picture of you, bro. Let's see. Oh man, that could be a good one. I need to find one where you're on like a flatter background. You know, Josh, did you get yours? Let me know you got yours. Hope, hope you like it, brother. Okay. Nice. Okay. So there's your new LinkedIn profile photo, bro. And who's going to be up next, I guess is the question.
Looks like we got some spam that just hit us. That's fun. Um, okay, so next up, Efren. Of course, brother. Happy you like it. Happy you like it. So... Here we go. Perfect. Save image. Save. Let's add you to here. Let's see. Where do you work? Some colors. We need some colors for you. What kind of colors would you like, Shavonda? I think I said your name right. If I didn't, please let me know because I don't want to mess that up. I'm not in the business of messing up names with a name like Garen. Okay, cool. That's Mool. What's up? Thanks for commenting on all my stuff, man. You've been in my community now. You've been, you've been com commenting and showing up for me. I appreciate that very much. Very much so. I'd love to make over your profile photo if you'd like as well. Um, like I said, that's what I'm doing right now is uh, giving away free profile photo makeovers. So... Oh, no worries at all. No worries at all. I can grab this one. It's up to you. If you have a better photo that you prefer. Um, okay. Yeah, it's the same one. Cool. Did you have any, like, any colors that you want included? Is there a specific type of, um, uh, yeah, is there like a color palette or, or like a, a website? Like I can, I could also pull from this. Ah, oh, love this quote, by the way. It's awesome. It's the same one. Yeah. Are there any colors that you would like? I know that there's like a lag behind my, behind my video right now. So. Um, so let's see if this time I can set this up so that I can do it in the background. This time I want to make sure I do it live because the last time I did it, it was, um, I know you guys weren't able to really watch the work happen. I'm going to make, make sure it happens live this time. Uh, it's just going to take me a second to set that up. I really wasn't thinking through how challenging that was going to be to do live. Uh, I just have to change some things. So I think now I should be able to handle. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is turn that photo that, that we downloaded just now, I'm gonna have to turn that into a PNG. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Quick convert this to a PNG. Save as PNG, desktop, save, great. And now that we have that done, we'll drag that here into our canvas. Now, how am I gonna show you what that looks like? There we go. To fire is yes. 
Okay. So it looks like, um, I didn't see the chat. Let me see the chat. Did you say you do like calming but exciting color? I'm rebranding. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, let's have some fun. If we're going to have some fun, let's have some fun. Um, let's find... Thank you, buddy. Are you going with Pat? Have a fun time. Okay. So, uh, not as much thing I thought now. Oh yeah, colors. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, let's see what we got here. Something calming but exciting. So, let's do this. So for those of you that aren't familiar with this tool, it's called uh, Adobe Color and it's incredible. It's fun. Uh, and you can pick a color palette that follows color rules. And for a lot of people who are starting a business and entrepreneurs starting businesses is a really hard thing to do um, is, is picking out color palettes. So. So let's see. Okay, a little flatter. I love that you've got some videos up here, Shvonda. Okay, so something maybe we'll do. <clears throat> it's kind of fun. Maybe like that color is the background and that is your I like both of those personally. I also like that. But you've got some like grays, I guess. You've got some like tans in your current profile. So maybe like a tan back and then um, with an accent color would be nice. Yeah. Let's see. Let's do calming. Ah, that's nice. Picture at least. Ah, ooh. Now we're talking, I think. I think now we're talking. Let's do this. Let's go with that one. Okay. And. That'd be Okay. Okay. You ready? You ready? That was it. So I'm gonna uh, export that to Photoshop here. 
now that I have it um, in my videos folder for you. So let me get this back to normal. Now, I want you guys to remember what I'm doing here is uh, this is all in OBS. Every bit of it is in OBS Studio. So if you're a content creator, okay, if you're creating content and you want it to look better, you can use OBS Studio to do a lot of things. And this is all stuff you can as well do live through OBS Studio, which is so powerful, right? Because that means you can do it on a video call. Trim, transparent pixels. Let's export this for you. Save. Voila. Okay. <sighs> Two down. Who's up next? Efren, you still here? You give me a photo, bro. Who's next? I'm going to send this over to you right now via email. And I'll also... Uh, we go, sent it there. Now let's go to LinkedIn. I'll send you a message here. Yes, I had to look behind my... Boom, there we go. You sent me one, did you? Oh, cool. Dude, nice, got it, I see. Easy, killer. Save image as, oh man, I'm gonna do something, something else here. We're gonna change it up. I wonder if it's gonna catch that edge. I might be able to just do yours in here since it's a. Uh, it's gonna be hard to remove the background of that. What I can do. What I can do. Likely. Let me find your Facebook profile. That would be really sick. Yeah, Josh, happy to do it, brother. Appreciate it. Definitely going to have a good time at Fender's Farm, you know, not fighting the crowd, eating all that popcorn, I'm going to drink some cider. Yeah, it's that time of year. So I'm stoked. 
I'm stoked. Thanks for being here, man. I appreciate you very much. Very, very much. I need more screens, bro. This is a fact. If you're just tuning in today, um, we are doing free profile photo makeovers. So if you want a new LinkedIn profile, holler at me. I'm doing free ones. Um, we're doing them live too. This is a little bit different of a one, but uh, if you're on LinkedIn, you have um, like a flat image. I can remove the background from, which I'm going to try to remove the background from this one too. I'm just afraid these pixels up here are going to be hard. Let's try something here. Do something different. Let's not do the same old, same old. Let's say. That's going to, have to be closer together. What's up, Kurt? Effort. I'm gonna try to make this mask out like like a soccer ball. But I don't think I really got the best um, That's right. Do I have to make that a compound shape or something? That's not gonna look good anyways, honestly. It's gonna cover too much up. Make it look better the other way. Matches the ball. There you go, dude. I'm going to save it to you. Nowhere good. Documents. Hey, bro.
Got you. Got you, brother. Well, that's three profile photos down for the day, man. I've done my good deed for the day. Shoo. Feeling good. So. I was hoping we'd be joined by some special guests today, but it looks like everybody's out doing their thing. Nobody can play today. Oh, it's fun to thank you so much for posting, reposting that. That was super kind of you. Well, I got some engagement on my post today. That's nice. It's about, uh, 0.01% of that viral awful thing that happened to me this week. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for the love. Fun times. Fun times. And I'll tell you what. Growing a LinkedIn audience has been a really eye-opening experience about humanity uh, in multiple ways, good and bad, frankly. Um, blessed to have kind people here to hang out today. Thank you. I hope you like the photo. And if you want to change the colors and stuff up, like I'm happy to do it again. Like if you find something you like better or whatever, like you saw, it didn't take me, doesn't take me. It's not a huge, huge effort. So um, would love to love to do that. And if you ever want to learn to use OBS, um, I'd love to, uh, to help you on that journey as well, because OBS is a very powerful tool that uh, can bring a lot of value to your life, your business life. down got josh's stuff done man josh has been working on his website that's great super i love seeing i love seeing my friends succeed and like people that i i think it's so it's such a fun experience to be part of other people's growth and watch them grow and uh, and lift them up so they can grow more. Um, because a rising tide does raise all ships. Make no doubt about it. This guy's great too. Brandon's a monster. He's uh he's killing it on on LinkedIn as well and has been for some time now. He's got a lot of positivity to his message. I love that guy. Now, LinkedIn is is like other social medias though, right? You find what you want out of it. So if you're just joining, uh, you're new to the stream, we're uh, doing profile photo makeovers. And uh, if we can get enough people in here, we're going to do a, a VX subscription giveaway. So that'll be fun. And if we can't get enough people in here, whoever is in here is just going to get it. See you.
Cool, cool, cool. Got a game tonight. Soccer game. Anybody out there, soccer players? Let's get back here to uh, so on my stream deck. It's really cool. I can actually change up the location of the the uh the camera boxes so obviously i'm sharing my screen over there uh, and then my camera's here and on the stream deck it shows that uh the main camera is in the four spot and cameras two and three are in the one spot which is my my camera but i could switch that to the one spot and that to the two spot uh, with the swift click of a button uh, that makes it really cool you can also like set up other things like descriptions or you know other types of metadata's uh, that could also be fed from live sources, which, how cool is that, right? And that's how this chat thing works, is I basically can just throw that up. Which is cool. Looks like we are in live for an hour and 42 minutes. We knock out another little bit. We should do something else cool. Of course. Yeah, of course. Siobhan, do you, you reach out through LinkedIn? Let's schedule some time. As a matter of fact, um, let me just, I'll send you over a schedule link. You can pick a time that works good for you. Okay. Schedule time, it's your convenience. It's great for education. Like OBS is an inc incredible, incredible tool for education because it gives you the ability to do more engaging presentations, more media rich content that people want to watch or, or shouldn't want to watch more of, right? At least I like shiny things. <laughs> Done enough. Pro we did three profile photos today.
pretty crazy. Get that many people in stream. For a random live stream. Not too bad, y'all. Not too bad. We should do more random live streams. Don't you think? I do. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. That was a success. I got a meeting in 20 minutes. So, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, Shavonda, I sent you that link if you're still here and you can schedule time with me and it looks like you are the winner of Desk Greek Experience subscription. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. <laughs>